I think in a rural community, um, things like a coordinated community response can be really successful because it is so small and we all care about our community and if we don't step up and do it, who is? I mean, if you're in a large community, well, there's lots of other people that could step up and take care of that and worry about that issue. But in our community, it's so small and there's so few of us to kind of come together to do the work that we all have to step up and take leadership and do our part. A lot of that doesn't require funding. It requires people working together and being creative about how you continue to work together and you continue to pick up a phone and talk to each other, send each other an email. Since we began meeting 10 years ago and up to this day, it is so much easier to pick up the phone and call a police officer that I know by name when I have questions, I can talk to him, he knows me. Police know more about what a SANE is. Uh, prosecution wants to have a SANE involved for a sexual assault. Uh, it just goes through court a lot easier. Uh, it's just opened up communication in a lot of ways for us. We have a very rural community here, um, high rates of intergenerational poverty here, and um, we know that when we remove that offender from the home for what we believe to be safety for the victim and the children in the home, we also create an undue hardship for that family. Um, oftentimes he's the, the breadwinner, oftentimes um, they share a vehicle, oftentimes there's um, care and, and custody of the children that becomes a problem like when mom has to go to work and dad stays home with the kids or vice versa if they work alternating shifts. So we know that a lot of times some of the things that we do because we think we're making things safer and better really causes harm to the family and creates a system by way of which the victim probably isn't going to report again. So we always think about those different pieces when we make recommendations to the court. It's not a cookie cutter, it's not a one size fits all. The other challenges of living in a rural community is it's a small community. Everybody knows each other, is related to somebody somehow, and so there's not much anonymity in a rural community like ours, but that can also be a benefit because people then are able to talk and we can have things like a coordinated community response. Not that you can't in a big community, but in a smaller community, some of those relationships can be even more meaningful because it is so small. And, um, you know, your, ch your children may go to school together, or, you know, working with law enforcement officers and, you know, your kids are in in the same class or you know something like that you can really there's an opportunity to build strong relationships um, when it's so small. Having a coordinated community response here in our community has really opened up communication between uh, different agencies that wouldn't necessarily be talking before so having a coordinated community response means um, victim services is coming to the table and talking to the judges and um, law enforcement about um, things that could be done to improve the safety of survivors that are, you know, maybe seeking um, relief through the court system or through law enforcement. Um, we actually get to sit down and, and talk about issues. I see definitely the opening up for opportunities for conversation with the coordinated community response. I also see it as an opportunity where a lot of people that were, um, you know, already kind of doing the response work um, had an opportunity to get training. So a lot of the judges, um, all the judges went through training. Um, prosecutors have gone to training. Law enforcement has had training. And so people are talking about domestic violence and understanding that it's a much more complex thing than what they might have previously understood. And so it's not just victim services saying things need to change. There's other people now after getting the training and, and kind of understanding the complexity of it that yes, this is something that we need to be figuring out.